additional plates you got to mount on here. But this one, they get these little extensions, and all I'm going to do is just put these on finger tight. Okay, there's four, and all it's doing is extending the the grip for the screws. Okay, put that on there. And go to the other two. And you know, uh, because I've been messing around with this thing, I actually wiped off the thermal grease that came with it. So what we're going to do now is we have this off, this good to go. I'm going to take some thermal grease and I usually put a, a drop right in the center of the processor. Now just a nice size drop, you know, not too big. Because once I put this um, plate on there for this water cooling, it'll actually spread it evenly once I put, if I screwed on uh, gingerly around there. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and line up those screws in the same locations that the that the air-cooled bracket, that blue unit that I took off, goes. So I'm going to, again, I'm just going to start it here to get them lined up correctly. And it's nice to, you know, have a unit like this that you can actually install. Because, you know, for me, and this is, to be honest with you, this is the very first water-cooled system I've ever tried to assemble. I've done, you know, regular, regular air-cooled units, you know, this is your typical heat sink, but I've never done one with water-cooled, so this is going to be an experiment for me. I hope it works. Okay, get these things started. And just take your time here, because what you want to do is get them started, and then once you get them all started, we're going to go ahead and tighten them down evenly. So, everything but it's burst that thermal grease, you know, consistent across the whole, across the whole process of there. Okay. This is... Keeping a little challenge getting it lined up. There we go. Get that started over there. And over there. Okay, now I got them all started. Then I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, just kind of tighten them down evenly. You know, just like you do with your lug nuts in your 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 car. You want to kind of go around, put them on. But this is a little bit more important, mainly because you know, get the thermal grease on there. You really want to make sure that's dispersed um, evenly around the, on the processor itself. So. Okay, it's spring loaded, so you can tighten it down all the way, and it'll be pretty much enough pressure to do its job. Okay, now remember I removed the other four inch fan off the back of the off of the system here, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to install this one that comes with it that's attached to this water cooled unit. And remember, this is a self contained unit; you don't have to do anything. Once it's on, it's done. You know, you don't have to put liquid on it later and all that nonsense. It's a completely sealed unit. I was kind of worried about, you know, having water, electricity, but this is a sealed unit I'm not going to worry about. Then you have, of course, you have your power that like you have in your normal. There's one location that says CT fan. Okay, and then where I took out the other fan, it actually has holes that align to these little rubber pins. And we'll just pop through the holes here, there, there, and just pull them, and they actually will be enough to hold, this, hold it in location there. There's that one, and that one. So there, it's on, it's sealed, it's all plugged in, done deal. It's got a nice little LED readout here that you can actually mess with later. Okay, so. Power, heat sink, all that on. I think the only last thing I have here is I'm going to take out a couple plates here. And I don't, I have a graphic card I'm going to throw in here. I don't have, I wish I had something bigger. But I got a nice 3850, uh, I'm sorry, it's a 3750. 
Bad card. Great card. Okay. Take out the plates here. It's got a couple slots here, so I can actually put this in here. Drop it in. Pop it in, and I'll put these screws back in. To those same locations. I took out where the blank plate was. I could have actually put this in earlier too. So, make it easy for myself. Line it up. Then one in. Do the same thing here. This one's back in. Okay. And done. I've been locked up, locked in, and we for plenty of power on the system. We got a uh, power, a six pin power that we're going to plug right into the back of this unit. And there we go. So, what we've done here in a matter of 30 minutes or so. RAM, hard drive, optical drive, water cooling solution, you know, all the container. And I tell you what, knock this whole thing out in 30 minutes. You could do the same, pretty darn easy. And, you know, like I said, there's a couple of unique things doing water cool. Make sure you tape the plate to the back. And so when you actually take off this front carrier here, it doesn't drop off, so it stays in line. But besides that, I am ready to rock and roll, ready to uh, install software. Alright, stage two, we're going to load the OS. Thanks.